Welcome to Fitch Painting Repairs Garage. Today's project, we're going to give you a little update on the 67 Triumph Chopper. Um, we've, <coughs> excuse me, since the last video, we've did some stuff to the bike. Um, we did the, you know, we got the carburetors adjusted a little bit. Um, and we're trying to get the bike ready for a test ride. And to see if the bike's worth putting any more money into because we'll have to buy some parts to replace uh, some missing stuff but for now I've roughed in some electronics on the bike and um, we've got her just kind of you know some hose clamps holding a few things together um, deleted a couple things off of it so we can try test riding it right now I have a functional rear brake um, I'm missing the cable for the front and I think I'm going to go ahead and pull the one off the 63 and put on there for the test ride. Uh, we pulled the electronics, we got the coils and condensers off of this bike and put them on the 67. This is the 63 slash 66. It's titled as a 63 based on the frame serial numbers but the engine's a 66. And this is the one that's the TR6SS it's a 66 TR TR6SS or yeah however that is anyways so we pulled some parts off of this one to be able to test ride this one and um, we had to get this control arm and adjuster for the rear brake assembly uh, we had to modify and build a little adapter right here. We just had some stuff laying around. There's a cotter pin and a washer that holds that in. And we just put a little brass bushing to space it over so that it would clear the bolt here. And um, we, we're missing this plate, that control arm, this brake lever, and the left side foot peg. So we took it off the other bike and put it on here. Yeah, we've got a good working brake. We don't have our brake light hooked up, but we've got a rudimentary electronic system on here um, for the battery. I stole the battery out of my kid's Razor scooter, so we changed over some of the wiring to these flat blade terminals. This is just for testing. We'll go to the original lead acid battery in this thing later on um, and I ring terminals. So, we'll, you know, this is just all temporary. We're going to replace it and build a whole new wiring harness for the bike. So we got the coils, contenders, and everything all set up. The plug wires and everything off the other bike on this one. And then we roughed in a headlight. So we got a headlight hooked up. We got low beam on the headlight. And we've got wood tail light on the bike. So we're getting close to test riding it. I'm going to go ahead and pull that front cable off the other bike and hook this up so I can test the front brakes as well during the test ride and uh, throw the seat on it and the battery in it hook up everything that needs to be hooked up and get her ready to test and we'll go down the road with it so that's where we're at on this bike you know uh, I was a little concerned about the clutch and uh, the reason being is you put it in gear uh, first, second, third, fourth didn't matter with the clutch handle pulled in and um, the it was still engaged and, and what I ended up having to do was get it up on the lift, put it in fourth gear, work the clutch back, you know, get it adjusted and rotate the motor until the clutch plates broke free. Once the clutch plate plates broke free inside then everything's working just fine so we're good to go on that uh, we did the adjustment according to the manual got the clutch adjusted and when we found this bike it was a barn find and we got the pair of bikes together neither one of them was running that one ended up being a hole in the gas tank and the pilot jets were clogged from sitting for so long and so that's all we had to do to that one to get it running but uh, it kicks back a little bit it's a little temperamental on on startup so we're gonna have to dial in the timing on that one a little bit and those amyl carburetors I got one that's sticking you know if, if you operate the throttle when the bikes not running that uh, slide sticks in one of those so we're gonna have to do something about that and get that fixed 
but for right now the focus is this one and we're going to work on it trying to get her on the road and running again and um, we're real close so we're going to go through the handlebars we've got you know hand control set up we, you know the risers are real loose and sloppy on this so we're going to go through and put some bushings in that top triple tree for the risers possibly we might have to change those risers put a different set on there and uh, go through all the nuts and bolts on the front end make sure everything's all tight go again over the entire bike make sure everything's all tight and ready to go on the road and um, we're going to take it out and run it through all four gears up and down the road out here in front of the house so stay tuned for the updates I appreciate you guys staying with us uh, the video channel starting to take off a little bit uh, we got a few more subscribers and thank you all for subscribing I appreciate it thank you all for the comments and the praise and you know if anybody's interested in following these bike projects you know I'll try to um, you know do a little better on the videos maybe I'll do a, you know I don't want it to be a how-to type channel this is just you know updating people on what I do and you know, if I'm working on a customer's bike, that way they kind of feel like they're part of the process, you know, and then I document, you know, what I do on these bikes that I find. You know, uh, a lot of it's just for my own knowledge and my own reference. I go back and watch the videos because I can't remember everything I've done. You know, so if I sell a bike to somebody, you know, a couple years later they call me and say, hey man, you remember me? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, hold up, you know, and, and then I go back and I'm like, yep, yep, I remember the bike and everything I did. And, I keep records of everything, you know, so I try to be legit. I am state licensed, you know, for motor vehicle repairs, towing and recovery, and, you know, so that's not what I do to earn money. I'm a house painter, you know, by trade, so I have a business where I paint houses, but I also hold licenses for working on the bikes, you know, so I pick up a couple a year, I work on them, you know, I just happen to find these all at one time, you know, there was an estate, a state an estate sale and um, we're currently looking for a house here in Florida which is you know if anybody knows the housing market situation down here it's almost impossible right now so the realtor you know reached out to me and said hey you know are these bikes worth anything you know and they were non-running motorcycles just stored and so I picked them up and I'm slowly going through them getting them running you know I've, I've got both of the engines running I've test ridden the other one um, so Go back and check out some of those videos if you've missed them. You know, stay tuned for future videos. And, you know, if I get a couple more bikes, you know, we'll work on it. But for right now, this is the project. And if this one checks out transmission, clutch, brakes, and all that stuff, you know, and I don't have any handling issues with it uh, here at Low Speed in the Neighborhood, then I will bring her back in and I will uh, continue with the parts list and try to get this machine operational for the highway. And uh, we might slap some paint on it and have the seat redone and uh, we'll just see or I might uh, just say that with it you know the right buyer comes along and wants to buy both of them you know offer me uh, you know decent I've done you know some work to the bikes not a whole lot uh, most of it's just all preservation and, and you know doing what I needed to hook up to get them running so, but there is some time and labor involved in that, you know, so compensation would be according. So the package deal, you know, somewhere, you know, in my ballpark, uh, you can private message me for that information. I'm not going to just put it out there because the more I do to the bike, you know, the more it's worth. So it's a pretty nice machine. It's a vintage chopper done originally in Pennsylvania. Uh, this is a T120R motor package, 1967 engine, titled as a 67. Uh, the frame information on it is uh, 1976 Pennsylvania custom frame, and it appears to have been a complete build. Uh, it doesn't look like a modified frame, it looks like a complete solid custom frame and this right here you know uh, I've had some people tell me different names of this thing you know and I don't know so if anybody's got any information in regards to this 
frame. Uh, I've been told California Springer and recently I've been told Plunger. So if anybody knows anything about the, these frames, you know, let me know. All right. Like, subscribe, share, you know, see if any of your friends are interested in this stuff. You know, if you just like the builds, um, just, uh, maybe I'll try to get my daughter to film the test ride for you guys. All right. Have a good one.